What's up boys and girls? What's up world? A little side to Austin John. Anyway, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Scarlet Toward HD. And without further ado, let's get into it. If you guys remember last time we made our way to the forest temple and as I said we would go halfway through it we have flooded the uh, the bottom floor of this and for as told by this stone tablet uh, one is above and one below and we got the one below so now that we have raised the water what does that do for us well that is what we are here to figure out so, we need to get up there. How will we do it? Perhaps flooding the area has, um, oh, yes, as you can see, there's now water. That is how. Oh, wait, we don't have any, uh, Dega seeds. Anyways, we have to go through and find yet another switch. And right here, here, you can get on to. But we need a key. A key, you say. Hmm. Where will we ever get a key? Her is back there chewing on her peanut butter flavored dog tree that I got her. <laughs> She's a cutie and a half. Anyway, let's get up here. <laughs> okay, so we came in at one of these. Let's see. I still can't use my slingshot. Can't go to that one, that's locked. So here's one area we can get in. Is this where I first came in? I feel like it is. So I can go left or right, and the only option is right. Right? Oh god. Oh god. Down on the right side, that's okay. Happen. As above, so below, snitch. Like I haven't played this game before. Bro. Howdy girl. Ain't get no attention. Cause daddy's playing Zelda. That's how it be sometimes. Let's do this, bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I could use those. <laughs> Where's the other one? If he got back into position. Oh, he's gonna get up 
on me. Okay, bro. Hey, take me out to dinner for. I thought I could just do it the quote unquote easy way. But you can also go the way. Dungeon map, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna go back into this room. <laughs> one above, one below, but now we have more water. We have more access to the temple. In a room with two glittering gemstones, you shall find temple map. Gaze upon the map until your eye finds the X, for it is there that you must strike another gemstone to reveal a path. Okay, so, we got that one. Now we need to get this one, which I believe we got the first time, correct? That was the... Below, this one was above. Ideally, we should come into this room and everything should be the way that we need it. All we're missing is the key. And here's a chest we haven't got before. So, let's see. Aha! You'll notice a log. We can now get up here. And I will have you guys know that while I have played this game before, I have only one time played this game before. And I do have an impeccable memory. I will I will boast a little bit. But I don't really remember everything I'm doing. What I'm doing is just like you know, figuring out as I go along. And my point in telling you all this is that it's really not a hard game, okay? What's that thing? The sentries here are born of evil magic. They have a tendency to fix their gaze on blah 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 blah. This set of sentries is bound together. <laughs> This allows them to resist being rotated independently of one another. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anime. Hey. Hey, you guys, pay attention. <laughs> Voila. Key. I give it to you. Let's go, guys. Screw this place. I remember this area. <laughs> Screw this place, too. Now for the fun part, we're gonna get a really cool item in this dungeon, guys, and we're gonna be using it for the remainder of the game. So, get ready for that. I am literally strapping in. Piece of heart, definitely getting that.
Uh, shield broke. Great. Okay, so yeah, that this is the very first Zelda game where your shield can break. You know, if the if a like like or a similar enemy was to uh, take your shield, you know. So it's not the first time it happened, but in this game, you can lose your shield simply based on how many times you've used it. Die. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, sometimes you just need the confidence of like a potion. But here we go guys, the beetle, and I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty confident that this is in some way related to beetle, you know, so with AD, um, who is a reoccurring character in the series, but beetle loves bugs. The unexplained power contained within this insect shaped item allows you to control it as it flies through the air. You've acquired a new item. Analysis of this object's insect-like profile on wings indicate it can fly. Launching it, you can remotely pilot this device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. And we will have to do that to get out of here. So. And that's how you get out. The very first time I did this, oh my god, how long it took me to get out of there. I was, to my uh, credit, playing on the Wii, where motion controls are not uh, known for their accuracy or uh, forgiveness. So, I'm gonna use that excuse and milk it for all it's worth. Anyway, we do need to get this piece of heart. Which I believe is connected to another one of these uh, things. That was that one. found it <laughs> I didn't technically remember where it was but I did find it let's go buddy okay so one X is over here and I believe we unlocked this one with one of the things. So let's go in here and see what we have unlocked.
So here's where I just want you to like practice your skill controlling the veal. Again, it cuts their cobwebs. It makes a point of saying that. So it's not to make it too hard. But now we have the water. We can just come over there. So. sure I completely missed the point of that room. Switch that I hit. I was supposed to go this way first. So that's what you have to do. You see what I just did? You point your sword down, and when it gets close to you, you flip the spider on its back. And that's what I'm saying about how this game is really specific with its tactical abilities, which is dope if they work, which they do now. On the Wii, they did not very well. So, the fact that I can literally take the tip of my controller as if it's my sword. Look at, look at my sword now. Okay, the fact that I can do that is sick. 
was not on the way. Moving on. Okay, so I'm not very tall. Let's fix this situation. Perhaps if I stand up here, they'll all see me. Hey, you. Small key, open locked door. with a small key. Small key that can get us into this door over here. Alright. First glance you might be thinking, you know, if you're more cocky you might be thinking, yeah, so what? Swing at him while you're walking. Can't do that. Good good idea. Can't do that. More conservative people might be thinking, okay, well, try and avoid him. Can't do that either. Smart people might be thinking, alright, well, cut him down, jump down, kill him. Get across. And some of you might be thinking he's doing the right thing. Try and cut him down with the beetle that has the blades, and then you can just walk across. The last group be correct. Point is, is I was able to you know, thoroughly explain all sides, you know, all of the situation by the time I ultimately utilize after deciding upon the tactic that uh, I bash them up. Which... 
you continue the trend, you'll notice this monster here, which by, what is this called? What is this thing called? Target lock, a stall drum. This is a snake monster from before the dawn of time. Three bone plated heads, a thirst to cause pain. Keep it writhing even beyond death. What you do is you wait till all of its heads are lined up, and then you slash them all at the same time. We'll pose more of a problem in the future, especially when there's multiple of them. Unhandy thing about this beetle is that you don't have to waste your Deku seeds with your slingshot to do things. So I'm gonna go back in this room because I can, and because. I need the health. Fairy. Good enough. Didn't get a scoop because I'm pretty sure that you can't. Bro. For real? Yeah, let's go back. Why is it not registering? I don't get this. There we go.
the kids game. Alright, let's climb down a little bit. Get straight on because it will not accept anything else. This is That's why I'm saying this game is just it's annoying to play. You know, like I get that like some of those those different those things with the sword might be like cool. You know, but it's not worth the headache of how hard it is just to make the thing do what you want it to do. Anyways, we got the golden carving. Apparently sharp gold sculpture covered in mysterious patterns. Point is, game blows for reasons that, like, unfortunately have nothing to do with the gameplay or anything. It's, like, uh, it's just, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that, like, you can't appreciate the game for what it is because they refuse to just make it with normal control. And while it was built around that, it could not have been. Godward, or, um,. Twilight Princess, good example. You can play it on the Wii, but you can also play it on the Wii U. And it doesn't make you use the thumbstick for your directional game, you know? Because it wasn't built around that. This game was. Shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been built around a brand new video game, like, with some concept. You don't know how this works. What you do is you grab it with A and you try and figure out Ooh, how does this thing go in? That's your boss key, ladies and gentlemen. And I've been Nate Asher, and thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.